Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Greens on my plate cooking recipes. Today let's make some apple pita. Take half cup of water, add half cup of sugar and mix well. Once the water starts boiling, the sugar dissolves. You can see the sugar dissolves completely. Now add one and half cup of milk powder in batches. So it forms a lump free mixture. Keep stirring. Let the heat be low and mix all the milk powder together. Once you can see the milk powder is mixed together, the mixture starts thickening the perfect consistency. Now add the cardamom powder, 3 tablespoons of saffron milk and mix well. Now add 1 tablespoon of ghee and mix well. Keep mixing and the mixture starts thickening. It gets separated from the pan. You can see the color changes after a few minutes. Quickly transfer it to a bowl and make some small balls from the mixture. Do not leave the mixture unattended for a long time in the heated pan. It makes the apple peda hard after cooling. You can garnish using a cloth, then you can paint it with a red gel food color and a green gel food color. Allow it to cool for 3 hours, then apple peda is ready to serve. Let's make some darwar peda. Darwar peda is made from milk, ghee, and some sugar. Let's see how to make a darwar peda. This beta is made from paneer, roasting in milk and ghee for a very long time to get a perfect consistency. Once you get the consistency, then it is made a small ball and rolled in a sugar powder. Here are the ingredients and method. Please do check in the description box for more details. Add 1 liter of milk in a pan and bring it to boil. Once the milk starts boiling, you can add 2 tablespoons of vinegar and the milk cuddles. Once the milk cuddles, you can filter using a muslin cloth. You can see the milk is cuddled. Cuddle milk. Now let's filter using a muslin cloth. Perfect texture. Now cover the cloth and hang it for 20 minutes. So all the water from the paneer drains out and you get the required paneer consistency. Once the paneer is ready, crush them in a pan. Now sort the paneer in a low heat. Once the paneer is roasted, add some milk and keep roasting till the color changes slightly. Now add some ghee and keep roasting. Let the heat be low. All the milk and ghee is absorbed. Add some sugar. Keep mixing and the sugar get caramelized and the color of the paneer gets changed into slightly brown. You can see the color is slightly changing and it is dry. So let's add some milk, ghee and keep roasting so that the paneer does not get dry and you get a perfect consistency to make the peda. Keep roasting the paneer. Paneer gets cooked in the ghee and the sugar is dissolved. The paneer absorbs all the ghee, milk and sugar. The paneer changes its color to brown. Roast till all the paneer color changes to dark brown. Once you can see it's changed its color completely, you can transfer it to a grinder and make the fine dry powder of the mixture. Transfer it to a blender and make a dry powder. After blending, it will become a dry powder. Now transfer all the dry powder into a pan and roast it till it's dark brown. Keep roasting the dry powder in a low heat. Do not allow the paneer to roast it in a high flame. This makes the paneer to get burned quickly, so always keep it in a low heat. While roasting, do not make the powder dry for a very long time. You can keep adding the moisture like milk and ghee alternatively to keep the mixture little moist. Once you make the moist mixture then it, it will be a perfect consistency to make a peda otherwise the peda will become dry inside. You see we can add some milk and ghee alternatively to get this consistency. Keep adding the milk and the ghee only when you feel the mixture is dry. You can add the required amount of the milk as per the ingredients listed in the description box. This making of peda is according to 1 liter of milk. 
After roasting, once you get into, into this paste consistency, you can either blend it to get a even fine and make a small balls of the mixture and roll it in a sugar powder and keep aside. The perfect darwar peda is ready. Roasting of darwar peda is a, takes a very long time and it should be of perfect consistency. Once the darwar peda is roasted, then it is really very tasty and worth the try. Please check the description box for all the ingredients and method. Hope you like this recipe. Which among these two pedas did you like? And please mention in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.